What's going on, everybody? Captain Robert and crew, we're here live for Eberron, episode 62. 62. On a Tuesday. I'm on an airship, baby. Let's go. Oh, God. Oh, God. That's right. <laughs> die. I mean, true, true is at any adventure we've done in this campaign, we have no clue what we're doing we're we, just we doing had, it we had a plan laid out for us graciously by the red wolf and we said fuck your plan i'm gonna go in in a shopping cart <laughs> youtube was very proud of you guys for going oh yeah you're supposed to actually meet and go to this meeting and decide no nope, we're not gonna do that actually we're nope. scared to even go out there we're just gonna forget that conversation ever happened three weeks ago <laughs> yeah i mean it wouldn't be skybreakers if we didn't just everything up i mean we have one plan nah throw that away let's do something else <laughs> we got a better plan my plan is bigger this time my, my plan is flying by the seat of my pants and loving it <laughs> <laughs> raise your voodoos to that let's let's get some fucking og cheers in the chat for that one. Oh yeah mm. Mm -hmm. we actually got some of the uh split sixers of of uh of vice and danger beach did you ever release which one of those was your favorite no i never did i, I i've 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 told people but i never did a big like yes this is the one but tomorrow uh, i am i'm doing my final my final push for the vote don't tease me now i gotta know inquiring minds want to know inquiring minds man I, i'm glad they put out it like this is i love this i love a little uh little uh hoppy pack where they have it ha have it inside of it like that was awesome uh it was a surprise for me in the bottom of my cooler because i thought my last cans of it got stolen when <laughs> when uh some people that really needed my cooler more than i did uh appropriated it <laughs> from my office <laughs> we're not joking about partying on the poverty line folks somebody uh Somebody watched me set my cooler down for two minutes in between loading my vehicle and stole my cooler. <laughs> this is next disc golf bag the same way. You know uh, who it was? It was your it's your window neighbor. It's because you, you put the drape up. The drape up? Yep. I don't think the they I don't think they live in that trap house, but <laughs> <laughs> shots fired. <laughs> let me uh let me tell you what. Homeboy wasn't going knocking on that door for a cooler. It's gonna be a lot more. It's gonna be a lot more for Robert to come and knocking. Yep. You know what? You know what? You could you could just have that cooler. You, yep. you, you you could just have that cooler. Yep. Not fighting over thirty dollars worth of beer I put in there. It's a seven dollar seven dollar uh, members mark bag cooler. Now oh, it wasn't even a good cooler. Oh, nice. I don't need no, 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 no. this cooler. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> We won't go there, but uh, <laughs> I'll take pictures of the mini mart that's right next to, you know, the multi-million dollar investment that's in downtown Cape Girardeau. Woohoo! <laughs> Something else. <laughs> Never thought I'd be cockroaches. scouted for my cooler before. That was. <laughs> I'm sure they thought there was probably a lot better things than that Sam's Club bag too. <laughs> There's got to be some bratwurst in here. There's got to uh, be. You know what I was really pissed off about? was in the side pouch I had uh my my fucking uh my stack of like Koozies. fucking no 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 like my my medicine stack of like Claritin oh uh fucking uh Mucinex DM like Rough. it was about 50 there was about 50 dollars worth of uh <laughs> fucking medicine so hope they're fucking set <laughs> Feisty, could you imagine going into that cooler being like, all right, you want a, uh, a juice force, you want a juicy haze, you need Claritin, Zyrtec. <laughs> I got you. I got you. Oh, I got you dude, they, were, they were fresh. They were fresh ones, too. I just, uh, at least I don't Pops buy. And histamines, baby. <laughs> Thank God I buy member smart and fucking Equate. Otherwise, I would have had to throw in a fucking fit. There would have been a goddamn mortgage payment worth of fucking drugs down there. Good oh, God. Yeah. No, luckily, you know, I got healthy, and you know what? Maybe, maybe they don't have the cough either. You know, maybe Tiny Tim has been able to merge this season. So good, <laughs> good for them. <laughs> <God>. <laughs> He's got a uh, big announcement they won't let the community know about. I'm gonna go first, 
and let everybody know that Adam's not going to be able to join us tonight. He's feeling under the weather. We took a little bit of extra time to uh, feel it out, but he's uh man. He wanted to. He was being very persistent, and we were all telling him to to go f himself and leave. So he wanted to be here with you guys. Uh, he's he's going to get his his uh his literal shit right for tomorrow, and uh be there for the end of Ebb or no, I'm sorry, the end of Baldur's Gate. It's the end of all of them. I can tell you what, Eberron and Baldur's Gate all wrapping up on the 15th, whether the, ca the cast totally dies or not, you know? <laughs> I, I don't like when you put things like that, but I'm glad there's a, ne a definite ending. <laughs> I Considering mean, that I'm, I'm facing Mummy Mommy tomorrow. <laughs> that's in game. I'm talking about out of game death, bro. You're good. Oh, oh Character okay. lives well, on. You're croaking. Yeah. <laughs> If I don't wake up dead tomorrow, I'd be surprised. You guys are all suffering like I did last year with the fucking the long COVID and the inability to taste red wine. I'm like, <laughs> now I understand why Stephen Hutchinson fucking did it. Ugh. <laughs> oh, no. It was awful. I refuse to comment on that any further. <laughs> oh, man. Hey, if there's anything that uh, that all this uh, constant sickness has is, is taught me, you won't lose a couple extra pounds, man. <laughs> just get sick. Just go ahead and get, get sick. sick. You just don't want to eat anything. You're just good. You're good on all of it. Rough. <laughs> Who's got some announcements that aren't so morbid? I, I, I don't know if my, my weekly trivia streams can, drop, can top that. <laughs> oh, always. But if you'd like to play some Jackbox games with me and the community, and sometimes my wife even joins in uh, tomorrow, 5 o'clock Pacific on my channel, you'll find us doing an hour's worth of games while I uh, try and do radio and live streaming at the same time. And we'll do that on Wednesday and Friday. We'll be back after a week off of, uh, you know, enjoying my, my family's absolutely <laughs> internet that they had in Bakersfield for the last week. I had a computer that could have streamed it, but I had an internet that had an upload of 1.2 megabytes. Oh, nice. So, I mean, I, I, I down, so down, was, down was maybe six if I was lucky, but yeah, it was it was a struggle bus. Oh my gosh. That's a but I'm home, and I'm happy to be home, and I'm happy to be streaming again, playing some games. Hell yeah. Anyone else? I got nothing. Oh, we got D and D for y'all. If people can survive to get to the sessions, we got <laughs> it, dude. I looked at the matrix of how many of the end of the year. I'm like, dear God, it's been rough. It's been <laughs> it's been rough on the schedule matrix. But you know what? IG Willikers, we're gonna get there. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna put a bow on this son of a bitch. <laughs> But yes, we're going to have Baldur's Gate tomorrow, even if it's a solo vagina monologue. I'm running it tomorrow. Mommy. We are going for it. Me and radio, <laughs> we'll just, uh, mummy mommy walks over and says, you ever just say fuck it and want to leave the necropolis and go get a drink? He's going to be like, yeah. Randy, I got a ship. We can go right now. We're going to sail <laughs> off into the sunset, listen to Yacht Rock. Yes. <laughs> Take me all the way. Spoilers! Spoilers! <laughs> you ever, you ever, you want to uh, outkid the Fausts? We're gonna have eighteen <laughs> mummy babies, dude. Little cat mummies, dude. That's rad. Okay. God, now I gotta be a furry and your love interest. I guess technically, <laughs> technically, I'm a different kind of D and D furry all the time. So true. People don't realize how close they are to furry. They, they, they really. That's a you know that I get in that discussion every Halloween. Everybody's a furry. <laughs> Everybody's a furry. Clock Pirate furry. cats, pizza, rolling dice. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, and play, play, Hugh Hefner's the biggest furry of them all. Let's be honest. I could see that. I could see that. Lots of bunnies. Uh, yes, we'll do Baldur's Gate. Meteor and Core is back. Pretty much all the shows are going to be rocking until dun, 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 December 15th. So we're going to try and get as much D&D &D until then. And then it's Christmas week and most people are traveling and doing the thing. And they also kind of travel and do the thing on New Year's. So plan on jam packing all this lovely D&D &D content that we can into the first three weeks of December. That is what I have learned. 
from previous. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so there's going to be a lot of things coming because there's going to be three shows are getting retired here in December. So stay tuned. New shit on the horizon. I'm excited. I'm ready for new characters. I've got five written already. <laughs> <laughs> That's how it always starts. It's, it starts starts big, and then I funnel it down, and then we'll get there eventually. Uh, you just got to keep them for all, all them death rerolls. Mm-hmm. Some of the best ones I, I still have yet to flesh out. I mean, I'm I'm still waiting to uh, to go back to Spelljammer Academy. JP Rico still has a life to live. Oh man. Oh man. Yeah, I really got to start re-traumatizing y'all instead of the mods. I kill you know, I've been able to kill forty pretty consistently. <laughs> uh, up until the, the newest character that he's made which is still ridiculous and fighting off of his back but he i think he's finally made a build that can survive <laughs> i don't know i don't and know you, what it is you wonder why i invest so heavily in constitution i wonder <laughs> well I, i've tormented everybody enough now they all take the tough feet and <laughs> you know, any, any extras. Yet, the only the only character I ever took tough on was Uthel. That was the only one I ever took tough on. Everybody else I haven't. And you come pretty close to dying. And I have definitely done it multiple <laughs> times. <laughs> <laughs> and guess who's learned their lesson? Not me. It's all for the story, <laughs> baby. Exactly. I, I take feats in story. That's my feats. Show. <laughs> Uh, what are the big announcements? Uh, What's this charity stream I saw that you have possibly floating around there? I don't want to talk about it yet. Okay. Otherwise, I would have brought no. it up. I just figured you might have forgot. Yeah, that's what you get for making assumptions. <laughs> I do every day, and I'm the ass. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm just being a huge dick to radio because I can. Uh, we, we're Hopefully, we'll announce it tomorrow when we have the, the full set cast of it. But uh, I'm going to be helping out some lovely, lovely friends over at Soba Seattle uh, uh, Broadcasters Association and uh, help those folks out with a little charity drive uh, that they're doing. And they wanted to play some D&D. And I said, I would love to lend my time because they're awesome folks. And I have gotten a lot out of their events. So I would uh, I said I would lend them a hand. Um, it's, I specifically uh, told all the charities no this December because uh, hey man pocketbooks are tight this year and uh, there's a lot of people asking a lot of things and essentially when a charity comes knocking on your door they're asking hey what can your people give and uh, this year I told them I said yeah we're not gonna we're not gonna do that I said we'll talk after the holidays but when, uh, when there's a good chunk of folks that you know that are worried if they're going to keep their job or not going into a holidays, that ain't the time. So there, there will be no uh, official charity stream on the channel this December, and that is uh, specific for that. So if you, wanted, if you, you want to uh, come and support uh, on Friday, it, uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's Extra Life uh, that's out there. They're a good charity. If you feel like doing it, go ahead. We'd much, much more just love your support and bring bring energy over to, to us because it'll be over on Soba's actual channel. So I'd rather you just bring your energy and have fun with it. But for those that uh, that have the ability, we'll talk about that when we publicly release. Yeah, I, I don't like when they all come knock in December anyway. It makes my skin boil just a little bit because everybody does it. And I'm like, you know, you know whose charity needs it? Probably everybody's individual fucking families right now. So, <laughs> how about you? You know, sometimes you just got to button it up a little bit. But yeah, that's the game plan over here. <sighs> Good looking out, man. You got to, man. Otherwise, uh, people like to uh, people like to take a little bit. <laughs> Especially when you, you 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 look at these administration costs in some of these places, you're like, I love you, but uh, your uh, your admin costs a little high, buddy. <laughs> you're just trading for somebody else's Christmas at that point. <laughs> <laughs> the dirty, the dirty underbelly of charity. <laughs> Other than that, 
think we need to thank Voodoo Ranger for making it a hell of a year. We love you guys. Thank you so much for your rad support. Uh, I can tell you guys on the Voodoo front, we will be playing that wonderful Souls-like D&D whenever it comes in. They sent me some more pictures of it. Uh, we're going to do, and we're planning on doing in-person event on that. So. Fun. Yeah, we're trying talking about playing like in the brewery in between oh, the shit. tanks and get like crazy cool lighting and stuff like that so we'll see it is a uh, it is a pipe a pipe dreameth on that front but I, it, I said at least the bottom line we'll do we'll, we'll have some cool online with it and have super fun with that bloodborne style setting so it's looking really oh, yeah. good the art's amazing and uh you know now that i've become proficient and being terrifying with ai art uh we're, we're ready to rock <laughs> Definitely my landed wife, that plane. My wife got a hold of the My Heritage AI art where you can submit your own photos and it just like you can just choose like all back in time things. She had a heyday over the uh. weekend. We got some great <laughs> photos from her from the pioneer days as a Viking, oh. as a Celt, cyberpunk. Yeah. That's oh, awesome. <laughs> oh, uh, and I do I do have a, uh, a one holiday announcement that will be coming up as well. Uh, we will be reprising season beatings back with the Rare Drop Boys. So we will have a uh, <laughs> uh, have a one, holiday one shot over on their oh side, uh, and it's yes. actually the one I have already had prepared. So it's uh, we're yeah you know, we're taking it to uh, uh, S Mart, baby. We're having a little those, fucking retail fever with Super Mega Karen. Those make me laugh so hard, <laughs> <laughs> like like genuinely hard. It was ridiculous. So I'm having them all, I'm completely customizing all the classes uh, just to make them random. So I'm asking them to pick a uh, employee, shopper, or person possible within a retail location. <laughs> and then I'm gonna give them, I'm gonna give them four abilities based off of whatever they, whatever they choose. So I can't wait to That's... see what pieces of retail hell they channel from their past. <laughs> Mm, who's gonna be the mall cop? Anybody got dibs on that? I don't know. I, we'll, we'll see what they we'll see what they come up with. Right. I, I'm excited to be in middle management, though. <laughs> <laughs> middle management. <laughs> Didier, a, a a real life version of Didier Marceau. Who knows? Who knows? <laughs> yes, yes, that's what I'm hoping for. <laughs> Andre the Giant goes and works at Target. <laughs> <laughs> Sold. I'm in. Oh, good fucking times. <laughs> yeah, we'll uh, we'll announce the date on that uh, here this week as well. So uh, you'll get a little 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 Christmas D and D action, which I'm stoked about. The first one they had a they had a riot on. This one will just be completely fucking unhinged. So enjoy. Speaking of where we left off, who knows the last time we played? Was it that last week? Who knows? Two weeks ago? Two weeks ago. We'll go with that. Operation Hawkeye! Sending a bird version of Laytash to go and invade the Lyrander Elves airship. All in a plot to try to bring down this standoff in the desert. With Valinar elves squared away with the Red Wolf's pack. All coming to a head over one locomotive trying to make their way through the desert north with a handful of dragon shards. With everybody's hand out, ready to take some and put it in their pocket. Skybreakers have been tasked once again to try to do what they do best. <laughs> Shit up. As you guys have chosen to not take the diplomatic path. To make your way on to the main airship and take it over. Forsaking any more rest. Choosing to go now. During daylight, you guys have cleared out an entire back way. 
of Valinar Elves. We pick up right after pretty much your surprise round assassination of everyone. Well, that went swiftly. Yeah, well, I know we tried to be quiet, but I don't know how loud do you think we were? I'd rather not stick around and find out. Okay, that makes sense. Obviously, they have bunks here. Enough to have shifts. I'm sure we'll encounter more the further up we go. There's nowhere else to go but back. This is it. We made our choice. Let's say we, we need to get to the helm, right? Laytash, how far away from the helm are we, do you think? This points up. It's above us. That's where they were jamming this thing from. Okay. Top deck. There's a war room, which I was caught in for a little bit, and a couple of guards, a couple of bosses. All right. Okay. Looked like he was the strategist. The other guy, looked like he was flying the damn thing. About all I got before I made my way down here with you guys. Well, so what are we think? We're gonna, we gonna start moving, making our way up, or should we try to draw him back to here? I think we know it might as well strike with irons hot, but I don't know what y'all are thinking. Aramesh, it's kind of a hostile takeover, isn't it? This it's kind of got to go room to room killing everybody. It's, this is your Kill, thing, right? Killing or scaring. I mean, my thing is in and out. Just remember, we're in the air and there's still three other airships floating around us. So as soon as we get noisy, well, they're going to get back up in one way or another. How long it takes them to get to us and whether they shoot us out of the sky. Those no are... Idea. The two questions I leave to you, gentlemen. Uh, at this time, uh, Ox is going to make his way up to the door um, and just put his ear to the door. I, don't, I, I would imagine there's no like window through it. This is a solid door. Remember that uh, Latash did just come from. He flew in the mid window and then came in this way. Yeah, but we, we pulled the body out that was in the hallway and and, and brought everybody in. So I, I was just li like listening to hear if any anything has changed outside of that room. You gotta remember that was like literal seconds ago. Seconds? Cool. Yeah, okay. so you, you know that there's no one in that main, that main chamber. Oh, hello. You guys disconnect? I saw nope. it come up on your screen, but it didn't come up on mine. Um, I'm still here. Okay. <laughs> That's always fun when you see those. <laughs> a little red alert. Red alert! Red alert! Yeah, I don't have a... I have a zero connection on uh, d d Beyond. Do you guys have any connection? Uh, I'm just in Foundry. Let's see. Nope. No connection, even with clicking the B. Oh, I, I I figured it was still broken. I just was going yeah. right oh, off a of plan out of foundry. Virtual tabletop not found. Ooh. <laughs> hey, we knew it was gonna happen. Good news is, I, I had to do I, I had to roll mostly through your character sheet last time in foundry, and it was it was getting the job done. All right, so uh, you know, I'll go ahead and make this uh, roll in here for Adam. Let's see if I roll a uh, roll a one. <laughs> oh, it was so close! <laughs> it was so close. <laughs> oh, that's right. We got to fill the roll log up. <laughs> there you go. Now, now we're down to the bottom. <laughs> They just keep coming. Uh. 
We, uh, we don't really have anywhere else to go but up. So let's do it, but let's do it stealthily. As quiet as I can be. This is where I thought I was Umber because I was about to cast uh, Pass Without a Trace, but that yep. was uh, that was on Umber's list, not Echo's nope. list. <laughs> so uh, basically, uh, that was a uh, a one d four Bane conversation for everybody. Uh, yeah, make sure you don't fuck yourself. Um. <laughs> Oopsie! Don't be so loud. If you could, y'all could hold it down just a little bit. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think I've got anything for helping with sound. I'm a living computer. Uh, Not a lot I can do. I'll say this. I'll uh, I'll take up the rear. Uh, ain't no point in me being loud and clumsy up in the front. Yeah, I just, <laughs> I just have advantage on self for myself. Nothing, no, nothing for the party. Well, let's be smart about this then. Your image goes first. The rest of us are fucking chain gang back here. Whoever has the ability to stealth forward, move forward, and we are going to have to follow. Otherwise, it's all guns blazing. Let's be honest. I mean, that sounds fun, but also dumb. So let's let's use that as last resort. All right, I'm, I'm in. Let's do it. What's this going to give me? Uh, Echo will definitely stealth with you, Garamash, for sure. Okay. No doubt about that. I'm pretty... Or, what the fuck is that? <laughs> so many things. There's so many things. Oh, there it is. That's what gives me stealth. Okay. <laughs> 18 for me okay uh latash are you doing invisibility yes i'm 100 percent using invisibility on this all right stealth with advantage my friend oh nice Ooh, also 25. very nice i'll take it Oh shit. Go calculatrice out here. Eight plus twenty-three plus twenty-five. Yeah, right, because recoil and I you we're we're hanging back while they stealth first, right? Yep. Yeah. Twenty-two is the group stealth roll. As we open up that front door and proceed. All right, I'll stack us all here. Move these bodies over into the bunks. Pretty much what we've done here. Clear this room out, shut a door. All right. What you guys can see is lit. That dark triangle, you know what's there, but you haven't visited and have eye shot with it. So there could be something behind it. Just a little reminder on how the darkness works. We don't use it very often. But this will be a time that we do. As you guys walk out into the alleyway, free perception check as you guys are walking out stealth. There's no individual waiting for you in the immediate lobby. You stare down on either sides as that wind whips through. Still full speed.
you hear sounds of armaments to your left. Sounds like cannonballs. You don't know if they're rolling around on their own. If somebody's loading cannons. Echo's wall peeking thing was a one-time use, right? Oh, when he can turn, when he can go ethereal, I believe it's once per long rest. No, it was it wasn't ethereal. He he like smeared something on the wall in the in the back hold that we were in that allowed us to see the room before we had went into it. It was one of his magic shots, I think. Smeared the hamburger grease on the wall so we could see through it. Yeah, basically. <laughs> I'm pulling up his gear. I think that was a, like a one-shot magic item that he had. I, that's what I say. I think it was just one time, but in case it wasn't. Yeah, that was the uh, oil of infernal espionage, I think. Uh, that's that has a name that sounds very much like what it is that I'm talking about. In action to apply a vial with clear oil to a, a door, coated and becomes transparent. You can see the other side of the door and remains transparent for one minute or until wiped off. Yeah, as an and, action. It, and it's it's just one vial of it, right? Looks like it. Okay. Um, Giramish will all, all the three doors at the end of the hall appear to be closed, right? The door immediately to you on the left is locked. Ooh. The three doors on the end are all shut. You don't know if they're locked or not. And it, the noises, are they coming from behind um, the the locked door? Can I tell? Yes, those are the doors to your left that where okay. you heard uh, sounds of cannonballs on this side. Uh, I'll signal to um, the others and ask if they want me to pick the lock or not. Okay, can I shrug my shoulders and telepathically say that was the, the side of the ship that I flew on first. It was all closed up. I don't know what's in there. Uh, I'll go over and try and pick the lock uh, with my thieves tools. Go for it. And then, is that just uh, dex and proficiency, or what is it? Thieves tools are your proficiency. Okay. Uh. Oh, yeah, baby, let's go. 28. <laughs> Good googly moogly. Yeah, I had to make sure I'm like, is, <clears throat> yep, plus five, plus five. Lock opens up. I will give you an advantage. You already have advantage on your stealth, correct? My stealth, yeah. I will give you triple advantage. Ooh, how do I? How I'm do checking I... inside the door. You'll probably just have to um, Three. roll, Three. roll a third. Okay. We roll the deuces. Okay. Okay. And the third. 
Yep. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. A little overconfident in that, in that lock picking. So 20. Door opens up. <laughs> and open it. Oh, okay. Click it. Oh, oh shit. You can see two Valinar elves inside. Perception checks. Oh, yeah. oh no! Oh no! <laughs> Whoopsie! Twenty-five from the one in the middle. As they both spin around, this will put you guys immediately into combat. And we're off. You guys are free to roll. Where's mine? Where I had to click the carousel to bring it up. Oh, that's right, carousel. <laughs> okay, you climbed it. There's mine. Okay. Oh, recoil, no. Okay. Oh man, where's uh, where's Dead Eyes roll? Ooh, do we get rollies? Uh, oh, we tied. Let's go, rollies. Rollies. Let's fucking go. Ooh. Okay. Okay. He bows out out of your immense prowess. <laughs> your clear, your clear I don't want to roll this, Jew. Don't make me. Oh, oh, God. Oh, 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 he's about. Oh, 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 that would have been more. That would have been wow. perfect. Wow. <clears throat> Holy shit. All right. That's right. Echo still got a chance to beat them both. As you give that good old peek through. All of a sudden, a bow is pulled on you. Oh, uh, we need to check Echo's initiative. Here we go. Damn. Okay. Yep. Damn. Yep. That was the one I was uh, hoping for. Uh, yep. <laughs> I was really hoping that was a 21. Got a plus 10, and I still rolled like doo doo. <laughs> <laughs> doo doo for you, Adam. <laughs> This will be at advantage. This is the individual that's still unseen gonna pop a shot at Garamesh? Yep. 10 points of piercing. When you get hit with that, you can see the individual as that arrow flies in, they will shoot Take another one. This will be uh, without advantage. Uh, 20 hits. Nine points of piercing. We got some fucking stowaways. As he retreats five. 10, 15. You see him unlock a door and it locks back behind them. Shit. Shit is right. That's that's not what we wanted to see. Mm -mm. That's, that's not what we wanted to go with that one.
so he is he is gone he is out of visual range right yeah i give you guys still he's not only did you see him shut you saw him unlock the door shut it <laughs> and presume that bitch is fucking relocked <laughs> okay cool. got it cool 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 uh well in that case i will run by and i will have a run by shooting a run by <laughs> shooting uh, <laughs> make sure you steal a cooler on your way out there oh watch out watch out i played all the songs at the same time again i haven't done this in so long all right so one two so much three. music you know it and... that wasn't so bad yeah, it was really just kind of like chaos drums. drums. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It just added to the tension. <laughs> uh, I'll take my first shot at this guy. Ooh, I like that a little. It like highlights it. That's nice. That's nice. What highlights it? Uh, when I pinged him, it like continued. It continued to highlight it. Oh, As I pinged and highlighted. That's dope. For me, that's nice. But, you know, I'll just shoot him, so. <laughs> this dude's obviously going out the window. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, that's a lot. And rolled everything all at once. Cool, all right. Uh, so 35 to hit uh, and 24 points of damage. Doesn't the alicorn push him too? Uh, yes, he has to make a strength saving throw. Uh, what is it? Number 15. Oh! <laughs> is it? I hope it is. I'm trying to see where healing, trampling, there it is. Uh, DC 16. Oh, nice! Get wrecked! Yeet! Uh, or be knocked prone. In this case, I'm going to give a dexterity saving throw. Uh, we're going to do 12 or above. If they go underneath the 12, they're going out the window. If they go <laughs> above, then they're going to hit the backboard and fall prone. Oh! Oh! Please, Timothy, oh, may you describe their demise. So as I'm I'm running by, I just like hip shot real quick, and and the ram's horn comes out and fully just demolishes him through the window. Like puts puts him through the tiny porthole, just folds him through it style. Oh, like getting shoved through a, a trash chute. Like when you see the the little clams get sucked up by the uh, the the oil. Um, uh, oil lines in the in the ocean and just like, oh god sucks, man <laughs> <laughs> brutal oh, this is fucking awesome <laughs> holy shit <sighs> then i take two more steps and i just aim at the other guy and get like give the huh I'm going to move you over here for just a second so it unlocks the okay. outside. <laughs> Bye. And give the like the slight pause as if, as if I'm giving him a chance and then I'll just unload two shots on him with a, a hand crossbow. Oh yeah, it's weapons drawn. Uh, so 15 total points of damage. For the first one, and then the second one, 20 points. So 35 points total. <laughs> that fucking roll, dude! Look at that! <laughs> <laughs> fucking here, crossbow, 16 piercing on it! <laughs> Get fucked, dude! <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Almost bloodied have, instantly. I think I have five more feet, so...
I can't remember, do I? Do I use my bonus action for... It's been a long time since I played this character. <laughs> In combat, I... yeah. Yeah, do I use my bonus action? Uh, features and traits. Uh, because you're a fighter and a crossbow expert, you take mm -hmm. three shots normally, and then you can always do a fourth with your bonus action as a crossbow expert. Okay, that's what I thought. I'll do a fourth. Oh, oh baby! Oh, yeah. Let's, Let's go! Fucking 37! <laughs> I'd show off my muscles, but it's kind of chilly in here. <laughs> Please tell me you have a brute crit to throw on top of that. Uh, most likely. Uh, let me see. Brute turtles criticals, I do. So just a uh, teaser for you guys. I'm looking at combining joint cards to one sheet that auto fills on redemption. Mm. Wait, wait, mm. what? Yeah, buddy. What? Mm-hmm. Where it will dump cards as a a, uh, a game pool inside oh, of it. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Hey, what's your other what's your other D six for? On your on your damage roll. On uh, mine, uh, it's the it has. Poison. What do we do to it? That's Would that yeah. also get critted? <laughs> so there's that. Yeah, I wonder why it's not um Yeah, it's right. not doing the Well it's the, not applying the, it, but I mean you got the we have the easy button, so I'll just click it and there it is for us. Okay. Yeah, that was odd. Right? Yeah, okay, was but I wasn't okay. I'm assuming that is po is the is from your baseline poison. Yeah, it's it's my oil of sharpness. Oh yeah, that should definitely get. Ah, uh, that's apply. oil of sharpness. Got it. Got it. Got yeah, it. Yeah, because I because I uh, uh, so many like ten episodes ago, I managed to like add that into the automatic loading of the the. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's been a hot minute, but I remember when we did that. Yeah, that should definitely. And maybe it's just because it's getting <clears throat> weighted as an other that it's not applying it. Yeah. yeah by default uh, and then that four is the brutal critical brutal critical those are just auto sixes oh yeah that's just auto at, at six so we got 16 plus 20 so 36 points oh my god <laughs> on a hand crossbow baby and then i have five more feet <laughs> <laughs> Good God! A full run. <laughs> um, do I have one? I also have a charger card. Oh, so you can dash. Ooh. But I had, I'd have to use a bonus action to dash. That's what the charger is, right? Or it just automatically apply like it just uses the card. We've done it both ways, okay. <laughs> so many times because we for we totally fucking forget. Uh, I would allow you to, uh, uh, well, you know what? Like we always do, we'll flip a fucking coin. I love it. Where's my coin? Heads or tails? Um, tails. Oh. Uh, there it is. Okay. Tails it be. Nice. Go ahead and burn it. Burn, burn a charger. One, two, three, four, five. To the door. Door is indeed locked. Uh, burned all my actions, so uh, that's me. And you've already burned one action surge, correct? Uh, you played my character last time, so yes, I did. You have burned one one of your action surges. Do you have multiple okay. at this point? Uh, not yet. I think that's 15 or 16. 15? Okay. Yeah, I, I burned it on burninating. Yeah, okay. Killing oh, everything. Yeah, we, we were did. mass assassinating and we need yep. you to be mass assassin. Yeah. Yep. Right, uh, mark that off. All right. 
Laytash, you are invisible. Therefore, whatever you do, it comes at advantage. Oh, boy. Why do I always have to follow him? <laughs> hey, yep, I I uh, I caught a I caught a glimpse of him blasting that other guy out the window. So, being so inspired, Laytash rushes in and does that knee slide guitar stride that you'd see a rock musician do on stage but no one can see him but him <laughs> as he slides in points himself in front of that Valinar elf and drums his guitar and casts thunder wave on the elf in front of him make a noise now baby yep we're going we're going wild now we do we do wow there you go. There's the easy button. Constitution. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Oh, get wrecked. Yeet oh, 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 oh. him out the door. Ten Ooh. feet in addition to the damage. <laughs> Twelve thunder damage, and he is sent ten feet. <laughs> Through that fucking broken door. It's like <laughs> hurricane hatch. <laughs> Damn, one of my best performances. Nobody fucking saw it. Oh well. Bye. What's great uh, about this is if they were Lyrander agents, they all have Featherfall, but the Valinar elves don't. Oh no. <laughs> no, poor guy. Eh, fuck him. <laughs> hey, I wouldn't get on a fucking airship without Featherfall. No. Fucking at least a spell ring. <laughs> <laughs> I played Mario 3. I know what I'm capable of. <laughs> I want to be that raccoon. I can do that tail <laughs> fall. Um, yeah, that's uh, my movement for the most part. I get an additional oh. five feet. Uh-oh. Laytash. Yeah? Heads or tails? Yeah, heads always. Always heads. ABH. Hey, that's good. Did I do good? You, was that the, was it. that the right call? Did you send Thunderwave forward? You can see that cannon rocket forward and ready to unload its fucking ammunition. You catch this thing just in time. I need you to make a strength saving throw to stop this cannon from firing. This is a DC 14. Oh, this is terrible. Oh, this is terrible. Uh, burr, 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 burr. I, I feel like I need to burn an advantage card because my strength is absolute um, which I'm gonna declare now. He's, I'm bur he's declaring. Burning an advantage card to try and save this goddamn cannon on a strength saving throw. This is what you get with dump stat. Saving throw, let's go. Come on, baby. Woo! Bring me that toy. Let's go. Let's go. Nat 20, you shut down the cannon. Hold it. And shut that fuse down. Dick these fuckers are trying to start a war. Yet still, nobody else gets to see your amazing performance. <laughs> I think that's pretty much the end of my turn right there. I, I have I have stopped the war for now. <laughs> end of your turn. Echo's gonna come in, guns drawn. Sees the room completely cleared out. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. Ah, this thing's fucking locked. I do have thieves tools. I'm gonna yeah. use my bonus action to try to pick this bad boy. To be a plus ten, just like uh, just like Garamash's. Let's see what we got.
21. Okay. <laughs> Kicks the door in. Oh boy. Spinning back around. Ah! Fuck! Doesn't have anything left on his turn, though. Um. Do you guys want? I was gonna say he's a fighter. Echo, he probably, Echo to yeah. burn his action surge, or do you want to rely on? Cleanup crew with the rest of the party trying to take him out in a convoluted fucking hallway. I think he knows the uh, imperity of keeping this as quiet and deadly as possible. It's me burning everybody's action, Serge. <laughs> I mean, that to me is the most logical echo thing to do because he does he doesn't want to turn this into a, a lockdown war. He wants to get through this de bottom deck and control the ship as quick as he can. Plus, we still have Axe and Surge as a card available to us towards the end of like a crazy boss battle or something like that. There is that that final push type yeah, of that, maneuver. The, still at the cost trouble. of being slowed the fuck down. Right, exactly. So I think if there's a time to use it, it's a time to prevent us from being uh, stomped on by the rest of the rest of the ship. That's my vote. Yeah, pull the trigger now. Two for dead. To Matthias, how you feeling? Are we live or die? Ah, that's three for death. <laughs> I mean, he's got his uh, lightsaber. He's yep. close quarters now, right? You can just. All right, here we on. go. Three. As he pulls out his lightsaber. Beat saber the shit out of his elf. <laughs> General Kenobi. Hello there. Actually, he would be more. Um, God, what was the, the guy with the forearms? Yeah, 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 that's 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 their, uh, yeah, Grievous. That's what I said. General Kenobi. <laughs> Death to you. Okay, I can yeah, deflect. I can deflect missiles with it. Just double checking to see if there was a uh, a lower crit radius that was there or not. If there was anything that possibly gave me advantage? No, but it, it does. The, I don't remember what the ruling was on the spiritual flame thing. I think this, it, it, he just gets to declare anybody. Like he just has to declare them to be his 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 query, right? Is that what it is? And he gets the extra damage. Oh, his favorite enemy. Oh yeah, yeah, favorite enemy. And that I think that's how. Because when it was being uh, wielded by um, the priest dude, anybody that wasn't a believer got extra damage. He already declared that the the elves are his favorite enemy with his last bout, so it's already on top of it. It's just a D6 on top, one extra D6. I don't remember. I don't remember either. No, it's the the it's the radiant that is against fiends or undead like them. So that he always gets that radiant because it's against. Uh, got it. Against so that's, that's what got it. Yep. He just always gets that additional. Radiant. All right. Cool. Here we go first swipe. Or rename that bitch lightsaber. <laughs> <laughs> First shot. Hell yeah. 17 will hit. Big roll. Yeah, baby. 11 piercing. 
16 radiant. Second shot. Ooh. 18 yeah. will hit. Still do it. Ten, seventeen. Last one. Oh, Ooh, the fucking one! Oh my God. That one was way too close. Oh shit! Damn. I peaked. <laughs> Bloodies the guy, but does not finish them off. Damn it! It is your uh, turn, Oxy. Oh yeah, and his bonus action was to unlock the door. Yep. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. And I do not have a clear line of sight on him, I would imagine. He's got three quarters cover. Okay, okay. Uh, that's not the end of the world. No, but if you miss, even if you miss close, you're probably hitting uh, an individual. Yeah. Um, don't fucking miss. Yeah, don't fucking miss. Just, just do that, and then just you're fine. Channel that twenty. Uh, let me. <laughs> Uh, what? Oh. I saw him do a good chunk of damage. It doesn't. It, it from what it looked like, he wasn't too strong of a of a elf compared to what we've seen before, right? This is all happening very quick. Uh, yeah, I wouldn't necessarily but, know that. I mean, it's definitely mass carnage up in front. Uh, still the smarter move as I am uh, going to cast magic missile at the third level good fucking call <laughs> Woo! And we'll just make it make sure it hits um, so you're gonna see him uh, pull his arm up and you've never seen these come up before but these little these little rockets just kind of sp um, splinter off from his from his forearm and it's almost like little missile or like little uh, firework rockets they just come screaming through <laughs> And they just, the Mandalorian right here. I love yeah, this. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> they just scream out off of his arm and just pinpoint right onto this dude. Uh, and uh, shield. Oh, he shields it? No. No, no he doesn't have shield. <laughs> <laughs> they don't have shield. That'd be badass. It's a boss elf. Uh, where are you at? Where are you at? Magic missile. Aren't you alphabetical? Why aren't you alphabetical? Oh yeah, that good back pop. Woo. Huh, I don't have it on. Oh, there it is. Oh, somebody didn't have it on your prepared spellers, do they? No, it, it is, I just, uh, my, it's oh. not letting me. Oh, it doesn't. Okay, I haven't. I haven't up. I haven't up level casted from Foundry before, so it's a first level spell to up level cast it. How do I do that? Just click on it and give me the option. Is that what it is? Yeah. And it usually we'll fucks it up anyway, so Got we'll, we'll, <laughs> probably, we'll have to roll, roll some d4s more than likely. Uh, consume spell slot, cast. Yes, it fucked it up anyways. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Uh, third what level, dice? so one. So it'll, it'll, yeah, it'll just be two more dice rolls and then three more guaranteed. Uh, plus dos. Oh, nice. Good rolls. Uh, so that'll be 11 points total of damage. Oh! Shisa, Shisa. Uh, ba Yeah, that's uh. Yep, that's all. Uh, that's all I got. 
but it was a guaranteed hit. So it took the guaranteed hit. Why you make me do this as a fucking gunner? I'd like to make you sweat. Sorry, boys. There's one thing fucking Recoil is confident about as he steps through. It's his fucking cannon. <laughs> oh, God damn it. Skadoosh. Oh, yeah, I can't click over there. <laughs> Arcane fucking cannon. Oh, 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 oh boy. Woo! Ride the lightning, boys! Holy shit, 27 will hit. That'll do, pig. That'll do. Hot fucking damn. 29 points of fucking radiant damage. That should do it. You just see the individual in front of you is the lightsaber has already ripped through him. It's just just vaporized by that radiant cannon shot that removes his head and the rest of his body thumps to the ground. Is that everybody? Engine room. Engine room. Engine room. How do you respond? Engine room. I want to do the Star Wars line so bad. <laughs> <laughs> and what's stopping you? Do I see what, like where I can, you know, use an intercom system or anything? Intercom is open over here. You guys have a free action. You're the only two that are up there. The only two that can do it. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, we're f uh, everything is fine here. Thank you. How are you? How are you? <laughs> Persuasion. Disadvantage. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? God, I'd give you an inspiration right now if I could, just because that was amazing. Uh, everything is fine down here. How are you? <laughs> All right. Oh, oh no. <laughs> We're going to get the same response Han Solo got. <laughs> All you hear is a dropped receiver on your end. That probably means they bought it. I think we're fine. <laughs> but just in case, prepare for war. Well, the least we can do is set up an ambush. We know they're coming. Perception check, Garamesh and Echo. Oh, that oh, 20 flashed up so on the close. screen. Whole lot of armaments in this room. Whole lot of armaments. Okay. A lot of stock weapons, but there's two big chests.
and a strange pulsing amethyst light coming from these tubes that seem to connect to the room to the right. Can I roll like a history check to see if I would know? Like, is it like the um, the shards? Roll an investigation check. Ah, thirteen. It sure looks like the same color. What do you think, Echo? Is this like a fuel room? Looks like part armory. Engine room's that way for sure. You're thinking what I'm thinking. It looks an awful lot like Dragon Shard purple to me. Yeah. Fuck. It makes a lot more sense, but I don't trust the bullshit that came out of your mouth. We gotta move. I'm not getting stuck on the other side of what's inside that room. We gotta go. As you both look over at those two chests. You get you take one, I'll take the other. Wisdom saving throw to see if he goes forward or if he goes backwards. Got to move. He is going to pull back and go to this other door. On your six. You go for the chest? No, I'm I'm behind him. He's he's more of the tactical person. So if he he doesn't think it's worth it, I'll go with him. Look at that face. You all want to see what's in my chest? You all want to see what's in my chest? Like I didn't roll intelligence on that motherfucker. I'd be just getting that chest right now and putting a new hat on. All right. That'll give advantage on uh, this lock pick. Twenty one opens up with ease. Don't even need to roll the other. <laughs> Doors opened. They're going towards the engine room. We'll go ahead and put the plus 10, keep the highest on this roll. Nineteen. As you push open the door, (laughs) 
it is a conglomeration of dragon shards that seems to be molded together in a giant cluster. You see it somehow stabilized in this room and piping out to the outer ring. You know that these airships are driven by air elementals from the Lyrander themselves. This thing is that but juiced. So it's an ancillary power or it is the the the, the main power, just the amplification of it. You it's know that everything that they can possibly do magical is amplified. It is an overcharged nuclear flying cannon. Oh my God. <laughs> cool. Cool, 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 cool. You know, in particular, at least this vessel is capable of turning this desert to glass. Based off your interactions with the, de the dragon shards and just how many are put together on this, because of how many there are, you're hedging their bets that this is probably the only one, considering it's carrying the official magistrate and consort from House Lyander. This would be an incredible kind of cash and development here. This is you opening the door on the Manhattan Project while it's activated. Two dudes in lab coats quickly turn and look at you. Bang! <laughs> <laughs> I'll take it to you about the board, try it. And you guys can hear it. Footsteps running across up above you. We got a real big fucking problem. Everybody up here now. You attempted to move through a wall. Yes, I did. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I did too. You said no. Whoa. You cannot move through the wall. Is that are, uh, are those dragon shards? Yeah. It's a whole lot of fucking dragon shards. I ain't never seen them used like that before. Some, uh, some don't feel right. Question is, what are they going to use them for? The other question oh. is, why are we still fucking standing here? Because they probably know we're coming. Let's put it this way. Looks like the Mourn Forge aren't the only ones. Um, does it, have we seen other, have we seen what the main way is to get down to this level? We know, I mean, we know how Latash got down to this level, but we don't really know how else people come down to this floor, right? No, you don't have a fucking clue. No, didn't think so. Okay. So there's a doorway across from yep. you. Yep. And, uh, you know. You imagine there's there might be a mirroring door over on the other side from the other compartment based off of space, but the, it's an the assumption. Room the, the room that the dude ran to that we just killed him in, did, was there another door? Did they see another door? I know they didn't necessarily look in that room, but. No, there's not a door in there. Okay. Well, we need to find a defensible spot and stat. I don't think shooting around this thing is going to be the right move. Maybe that is the move. Maybe there isn't shooting around this thing. Maybe that's why we stay here. Or we just keep going forward and get away from this fucking thing. If we stay in the middle, we are doomed. They will take this whirly bird wherever they want and they will kill us. If we do not take this ship 
We all die. If we stand behind this crystal, we die. If we take too long and get stuck on the other side, we die. Go, there go, is go, a way forward. I vote for not dying and heading to that door right there. That's, that's my favorite door. Let's go to that door. Let's start. Let's go. You guys hear <laughs> footsteps going up across the top. Yeah, they definitely know we're coming. As we as we run past the crystal, I am going to set something down at the base of the crystal. I'll just leave it at that. <laughs> Cuz we're 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 all walking towards this door up here, right? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, so as uh, as Oxy goes past this door, you just see him reach out of his side pocket and set uh, three things down. Oh, there we go. Couldn't get you guys fucking in there, man. Yeah, he sets a handful of stuff right down there at the base and then continues on. All right, from that opening door position, does anyone else check side rooms? Do they go forward with the rest of the group that's unlocking the door on the other side? Oxy is obviously choosing to interact with this crystal in some fashion. Mm. Does Latash have the wherewithal to do anything else? Nah, I'm sticking with my man. No, my mission is forward, so. <laughs> we said, fuck your chest, Robert. I hate that. I really hate that. I really, I hate it. I hate it so I hate much. It so much. <laughs> like, I, I, I really wish I would roll an intelligence check the, to see if the, I wanted to go the, in that room, but, you know. The, 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 the video gamer in me is like, check every room, man. Check every room. Check every room. Check every room. Check every room. Press the button. Press the button. Press the button. But that's not what my character would do. <laughs> Spoken in an encounter built by a man who plays video games. <laughs> Risk reward, bitches. Risk That's, reward. Yeah, That's I think we're, we're we're taking the, we're taking the risk on this and just continuing forward movement. If it's that good, it'll be there when we live. If we live <laughs> through the end of this, <laughs> maybe right. it helps us live. Probably would, but we're not that smart. We're the skybreakers. Yeah, we are. Door is locked. Iramesh, go ahead and give the advantage roll since we got our two lock pickers up front. Okay. 2d20 KH plus 10. Why is it not letting me do that? Plus 10. Come on, man. No. There's one. I hate it. it is, is it rolling a billion times? No. Okay. 28 what? with ease. Okay. Oh, my, my thing locked up. That's why. <laughs> it's about that time. You technically didn't roll with advantage, but I don't know if you needed it. The, there's no uh, extra ability of unlocking it. Yeah. That I can <laughs> give you than... for the for the twenty. <laughs> yeah. There we Locked go. Now so I see it quietly. Was. It also unlocks the chest next door, but you still can't see what's inside of it. <laughs> 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 that's funny that's, 
That's what you. That's what it would have been. That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> Party needs to choose heads or tails. You all know my feelings. You pick your own. Uh, yeah, heads. There you go. Actually, no. Nope. Nope. We're not doing that. I want you to pick one through four. Three numbers. Ooh. I'm going to give you a 75% chance on the outcome. Oh, yeah. Uh, I'll, I'll do three. Wait, which character is rolling it? <laughs> <laughs> Your choice. Those goes. My rolls are shit, never on. <laughs> I, I say Echo should do it. And then it should be, I'll pick one. So, so we, one, we two, don't want to see a four. Yeah, we don't want to see a four. I want to see a four. Hey! hey oh, 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 oh. Called it, dude! <laughs> Nailed it. As you guys stumble in to the next queue up area before you head upstairs, you can hear the footsteps are still slightly further back behind you. Because you pushed, you guys are going to be able to get on even ground. Oh, nice. Nice. As you guys run up this spiral stair step up to the main deck. I'm going to let you guys go refill your beverage. Oh my gosh. We're going to need it. We're about to get into it right now. All that was in the chest was just uh, one of those um, wax hands from the festival ground, but in a <laughs> flipped off <laughs> fuck oh, you finger. Rest in peace, high in loot. Rest in peace. Small, it was the small hand. <laughs> What do you think, chat? We're not doing too bad, right? Took out three more quite swiftly. Now we're on even footing. Well, no, we're not, you know, not, we're not muffing this up too bad. No, I mean, you're pretty good at effectively killing ads in a, in a quick fashion. Yeah, not, not too shabby. I mean, you have two fighters that just has that preload, like, good God. Boom, 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 boom. And they're all quick boys. They're not like yep. a uh, a slow clunky one. No, no, no. Yeah, they're not. They're not tanky bards. Bar, not bards. Barbs. Sometimes radio is tank bard. <laughs> Sometimes radio is tank bard. Ooh, ooh. I am tank bard. I am tank bard. <laughs> Hear me, bard. Thank God I haven't had a tank bard yet, but. You know what I did uh, stupidly realize I, I didn't do was have my damage from um, our combat two weeks ago. So, um, I, speaking of tanks, I've already fucked up some of my tankiness. <laughs> I, got, I got it noted now. Well, don't fuck it up now because we're about to get into the absolute shit. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I want to thank uh, our lovely patrons here at halftime. Chris Traya, Shabby, Westwolf, Aaliyah, Caleb, Matt, Monica, O3, Drewcom, Feisty, Kim, Nornoble, Stokers, and thank you all of our wonderful subs, patrons, and everybody else out there. Thank you guys for keeping the wheel greased. We appreciate you very, very much. Love, love, love. <laughs> Trike. Asking what's the difference between a tank bard and a tank bard? Absolutely nothing. <laughs> <laughs> what is good for? Absolutely nothing. Nothing. 
Say it again. Yow! Wah! <clears throat> yeah. God, y'all, what it isn't good for? Wipe yourself off. You did. <laughs> How many have we taken out? I don't even remember. Dude, a metric ton. <laughs> we just yeah. we just did three. There was ten. Three. Uh, two weeks six. ago that we took out, right? It was nine? Eight or nine? Okay. Because there was three. Was there two or three in the bunks? Two. There was th okay, two in the bunks, three in the center room, two on the other side. And one in the pooper. No, the one in the pooper was in the th it was in the middle. Yeah. Yeah, I I, I moved him to the middle. I didn't, yep. didn't want to, you know, yeah, dignify so eight, him with so dying eight, in the toilet. Right. So it, we've taken out eleven ads. Yep. And that sounds like there's more on deck in addition to the four that I already know that are up there. <laughs> He's like, ha, 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 ha. you didn't investigate the other room to see who was there. I'll take you, take it, Ticket, ticket, wookie, wookie. <laughs> oh, impenetrable? Thank you so much. I will probably need that as that they will be shooting at me soon. <laughs> shooting at me? No, never. <laughs> shooting at me? No. I'm the Christmas poo. Howdy ho, Kyle. It happens. This is part of what happens. You roll dice, sometimes you get one, sometimes you get 20. Celebrate them both. It looks like we're in a cat's butthole. I see why. When you sat down at Foundry, it was really zoomed out for you, wasn't it? Because that's what it was for me when I just looked over at it. That really looks like a cat's butthole. <laughs> you Thank guys you race finish. up the spiral staircase. Another door in front. Locked. You can hear the footsteps on the other side clearly running up. How do you guys proceed? Uh, pick the lock. The only, I mean, this is the only way, right? This is the only way to go. Blasted down. All up to you guys. Pick the lock. I pick the lock. All right, pick I'll roll lock. it this time. Eighteen. Just get the lock open. <gasps> You kick the door open. Yes. Door midway open. 
you can see them funneling on side. One rolled behind the doorway towards the mid, two in the middle hallway. Because you guys have pressed, there is no surprise on their side. This is open, crossbows and bows drawn. Everything fires off at the same time. Pop that carousel back out. Pop that carousel like this. Pop it like this. Oh, this is a big one. Of course, of course, you son of a bitch. <laughs> oh, fuck. No good place to put this carousel. <laughs> uh, we'll be out of the stairwell soon enough famous last I say, words I say confidently <laughs> oh Fudge. fucking echo with a 29 holy shit none of them roll a 20 either uh, I'm going to look for a Relentless. I am right in the middle. I love this. I don't have a Relentless. Anybody got a Relentless? Uh, Take, no, I don't even have one. Shit. I don't He's think my I last do. one in the last combat. Oh, no, I do. I do. I got one. I got one. Thank you. Oop. Oh, thank you for the obliterate. Fuck! <laughs> no! I went from a 20 to a 2. <laughs> Oh, oh. That's rough. Thank you, Bass Hunter. Too bad I can't roll it twice. Oh. You know what? I don't think anybody's ever done this before. Luck in it. <laughs> Luck, your relentless roll. <laughs> that's is what the, I was thinking. It is the only way. Oh, yeah, because you can't luck initiative. But you could luck... Well, I guess you could luck initiative, right? Yeah, I let luck. Luck, luck is the yeah. one thing that I let add to anything except for a 20 and a 1. Right, right, right. It's the only thing that can do it. Well. Fuck your 20. It's going for broke. I'm in the same exact spot. I was going to say, you went right back to where you were. <laughs> wow. Hello, nurse. <laughs> I don't know. We don't have we don't have too terrible of a spread, but that's a lot of lot of lot of folks that get to go before us while we're in this cramped hallway. Uh, Echo's definitely gonna shoot Iron Breaker at the first guy. Hundred percent. <laughs> 18 fucking hits. Oh, well, it's out. I can add a 1d10 to my initiative to start of every combat. Holy shit. Uh, didn't need that. Still got on top of it. Uh, when you take the attack action, you can make a single attack with this. Extra 1d8 of lightning. When I hit a target, a conduit for electricity. When I do, then I can send bolts out on either side that do an additional 2d8. Okay, got it. All right, first d8 of lightning that comes across on this bad boy. First one's gonna be a total of 19. Bonus action, I will activate that motherfucker. And discharge it since they are a conduit. Anybody that is next to them has to make a dexterity saving throw. Oh, let's fucking go. Oh, hell yeah.
These guys are now revealed in the turn order. Oh shit, they weren't earlier? No, oh. if they're hidden, they're not in the order. Oh. All right, they gotta make dexterity saving throws uh, 15 or higher. Oh, what a bitch. Let's go, second one fails, 2d8. First one takes half. It's four. Minus seven. I'm just gonna fucking pump and dump. Let's go, Iron Breaker again. That's gonna do a total of 14 between piercing and lightning damage. I'll use the conduit. Uh, no, I use that for my uh, bonus action. Can't do it again. Uh, just take the third shot with Iron Breaker. Fuck. Oh, rough. Think Gear Adams 10's over here. Dude, this is so shitty. Fuck. Uh, but this is what fucking he usually does. He's gonna, he's gonna, he's gonna move, take one side step. That'll be the end of his turn. Laytash, it is your turn. Just because I'm, I'm looking at his sheet, because I know you're running it too. On his, on his attack listing, he's got an ion breaker that has two d8 plus eight. Did you guys make one that Bro, does? I'm rolling in fucking foundry. I have no okay. idea whether it's been taken care of or not. Then uh, we'll go with that. So give me a second. It's 2d8 plus 1d8. Well, I'm just seeing one that's that's reading just, as 2d8 Just read, plus read his character sheet off for him because I'm going to fix it once and that's all I got time for. Yeah, it says 2d8 plus 8. I'm gonna fix this at the base level. Thanks, Adam. It's a good time fixing your fucking character. Okay, there's so much fun doing it. It's great. I love baby and everybody's fucking character sheets. Cool. It's alright, I'm gonna fix it all. I fixed it. Look at this. It takes me a whole fucking five minutes. I wonder if anybody else had five minutes this week. <laughs> Probably not. Probably fix it while I'm pooping. Ew. And I can get the fucking saving throw on there right now. Dexterity. Oh my god, this is gonna be so oh, fucking on. And it's a 17. So that other guy, no, he was he was he was over that. Boom, using the spell casting. Let's fucking go, Becky! Let's go, Becky! God, that's so hot right now. All right. Let's see if that carried over. Uh. Oh, yeah. That's nice. It needs to be 2d8. Perfect. Now we got her. All right, so I need to do, uh, let's see here. I took three shots 
Three shots landed. I need three more D8s worth of damage. Yeah. Let's fucking go. Oh, yeah. Good catch, homeboy. Another 15 points of damage. Booyah. Sorry, I caught it after everything, but you know. <laughs> I thought it was low too, but I'm like, ah, I don't have enough time to figure that out. Yeah. Oh, uh, Lake Josh, it is now your turn. Oh, boy. All right, there are a lot of guys up there, Echo. Asking the dumb Latash question that he already knows the answer to by the looks of him sidestepping as he starts to make his way around him and starts to whisper into his guitar and cast a spell. Go for it. Ooh, Molly, are you ready for this? Because we are steel wind striking. Oh, shit, dog. All right, move, move Latash to where he's casting it at. All right, Latash's view. You, uh, <laughs> there's your available targets. There we go. So there's. I mean, we're just gonna go around the horn, right? Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. We'll go clockwise, and we'll start with uh, this fool right here. <clears throat> Twenty-two will hit. Good God, it's so crazy. 30 points of force damage on the first. Twenty-nine to hit on the second. Oh yeah. Thirty-two points Get of force. Some. AC is seventeen. Two strikes. Yow. There's gonna be how many left? Cast at the sixth level. Beat and spell. Beat and fucking spells. Beat and fucking spells. Beat and fucking spells. Beat and spells. What's your spell say? That's what I'm trying to figure out right now. Because I know it's usually four strikes, but I it's cast a, it at the sixth level. It's five by default. Choose up to five that you can see within range. And then I don't know if it gives you more if you upcast it. Mm -hmm. what the base level is. It's five out of base. I threw. Reading spell. Reading spell. I got one. I got one left. You sure? Well, yeah, because it's five at a base. I cast it at the six, which is one level above base. That gives me one extra shot. And I threw two, lost two. So that gives me, oh, two. Two. <laughs> Read and fuck spells. <laughs> Let's go, Math baby. Fucking sucks. Ooh, ah, 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 sucks. Ah, ah, ah. Let's go, Read baby. Fucking sucks. <laughs> <laughs> There you go. Oh, no. 16 will miss. Uh, can I inspo that? I, yeah. Hmm? Uh, there you go. There you go. All right. Roll that beautiful bean footage. And the last one, the final. Oh, st so close to taking it down. Uh, All right, which one do you want to pick? Uh, you only got one swipe left. Ping one or ping two? Let's go ping one. We're just working our way down the hall. All right, ping one, going at it. 17, let's go. Oh yeah, good roll, good roll. Oh, good roll. Oh, good roll. Good roll. Holy damn. shit. That was a hot Woo. tamale. Good fucking God. 
Woo! That was one of those in-game fucking uh, Ruby Shore drops. <laughs> Good fucking God. Jesus. All right. And then, uh, you know. <laughs> Flourishing those uh, phantasmal blades through this bitch. You are going to have this pingent to start getting stacked as it is right now with three of you in front. No one else can come up the stairs. Mm. I still have movement. I'm going to tuck back where I was and get behind uh, Echo to try and make room for someone else to pop up and shoot. All right. Oh, this seems this seems like a dangerous spot. Yeah, this is this is terrible. terrible. But you know what? We're, we're getting through it. We'll be all right. We'll be all right, Bobby. Far back door opens. <laughs> no big deal. Just more people in the initiative, right? NBD. NBD. Popping smoke! And there is a toss. This needs to be a 14 or above. <laughs> oh, uh oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> Popping smoke on my team! With an eight, 100% gets choked up inside this first room. Oh, rough. They have to make dexterity saving throws as it is a fairy fire grenade. Oh, shit. That'll reveal this individual back behind the doorway here. Because they have to bail the fuck out. Oh! <laughs> Suck smoke, nerd. Permanently fairy fired. That dude's going to get knocked fucking prone, whatever it fucking... Actually, you know what? I'll not have him go prone. I'll have him go blind. Oh, yeah. Yeah. God damn it! You you popped it in my eyes. Friendly fire! Friendly fire! Oh wow! When I click blind on him, I can't fucking see shit. <laughs> that's fucking cool. Oh, that's funny. That's fucking dope. That dude's down. All right, uh, Dexter, you saving throw over here. Gonna be a failure over on this side as well. These guys are all marked for advantage. I'm gonna put a big old eyeball on them. This dude That's is going awesome. to escape. So you guys have advantage on uh, these two individuals. <laughs> <laughs> Get him. This dude's gonna tuck back behind the door and goes, oh fuck. <laughs> and he did that right in front of his boss too. Hundred percent. Oh, it's the dude that's fucking blind! He's gonna take his fucking his full fucking turn away. Hundred <laughs> percent. No, no, uh no way getting around that man. That's just, he's that dude it's just fucked. <laughs> <laughs> I got smoke in my eyes. Boss, I got smoke in my eyes. I can't fucking see. I can't fucking see. It's over, man. It's fucking over. It's, it's fucking <laughs> over, man. Uh, uh, welcome, casters and castles. Welcome, welcome. That's going to take away doing? his full turn. I'm going to do a constitution saving throw from them to try to get their, uh, their eyesight back. It's not happening. 
dude's still blinded. Next person in the order. Next Valinar Elf. Ah, this one's smack dab in the middle. This is how you fucking throw a grenade. <laughs> Yeet. Is there at all a world where I could use a protection card on this? Seeing it come through, maybe like jump on it. If you were in the front, the if you were in the front. Yeah, that's, that's a, a, you know. If you were in the front. Anyone else gonna try to use a reaction? Ooh, I have like a billion protection cards. <laughs> I just looked. <laughs> I, I don't know if protection is the right move. I, that was just what I had to come up with. <laughs> you might have a better reaction. Gar uh, Garamesh has the reaction, and it's literally, it's your ability check. You need to be to 18. Dexterity ability check. You just shut the door. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it. Please, please, please shut this it. motherfucker and fairy oh, fire another so bunch good. of them. Uh, ability check. Close the door. As you see Oxy try to do the hero move and fumble up these stairs to try to go jump on the grenade. You, I just go. Caramets just nope, smoothly. And just sl slam the door. <laughs> the fuck are you going, Oxy? S slam it like I slam it just oh. perfect time so it like hits the grenade and bounces it back. Like a bat. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna. Oh, that was much smarter. That was much smarter. Oh, holy God. fucking shit. I mean, he did kind of witness it happen. You know, with that nat 20, that dude is going to dive through the fucking door. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes, bring him to us. I mean, what other way are you getting out of it, right? With yeah, a nat right. 20? Yeah. That dude's gonna fail. This dude's so fucked. Uh, with him being hurt, he's gonna do this with disadvantage. He's on death's door. Oh, now, now, now one. Kill him. <laughs> yeah, this dude's fucking blinded. 100%. There's probably some concussion that goes off, maybe. Cigar kills him, something like that. Flash kills him. Oh, no, I'm dead. I was so scared. Marked for advantage. <laughs> so scared. So scared. So scared. So, I can't. No. <laughs> oh no! I'm what stuck in a loop. He's making him dance. No. He's, he's making him dance. What? He's now oh, on no. the roof. I can't. I can't <laughs> straighten him out. <laughs> just leave him that way. It's fine. Oh, it's just. It's, this, a, this, it's a false here. flag. <laughs> 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 yes! Hey, don't touch it. Don't touch it. Oh my god. He's safe. Wow. The uh, grenades did not work out how I planned. <laughs> <laughs> this guy is going to be like, what the fuck? Door shut. <laughs> uh, you know, he's gonna take a step to the side as well. You know? <laughs> <laughs> oh, boss is not happy. Oxy, it is your turn. Shut door. Uh, uh, oh, fuck. Is there enough room to get pa like wiggle past Latash? Yep. To swap places with him? Yeah. So we'll do, uh, we'll do wiggle that. Wiggle me, daddy. Wiggle me. Wiggle, wiggle, Whoa. wiggle. Uh, and then we are going to swing at him. Swing at him a lot. Uh, Ew. What a shit. Lightning damage. I 
I don't know if all of your lightning lance is on there. No, it is. I, I so I, I am just the one D ten plus six on mine. Ah, unless yeah, that's what it's been. Uh, swing number one, and then swing number two. So total of 20 damage from my first two swings. And then I will uh, give him the butt end of that. Uh, oh, that doesn't really exist in Foundry, does it? Uh, Just roll to attack and uh, be a 1d4 plus something. Yeah, 1d4 plus four. Why does it auto roll damage? Is there a way to turn that off? Yes, you guys need to go to top right hand corner, game settings, configure settings. Then I need you to scroll down on the left hand menu to ready, set, roll. Always roll, roll damage, damage manually. manually. Thanks, fam. Big fan. Big fan. Uh, oh! Oh! <laughs> the big bun. Uh, so here is D4 plus eight. And I'm not going to use a brutal critical on my D4. 11 points with the blunt end of my lightning lance. With the lightning lance, I will let you roll a uh, a one d eight for the uh, the lightning damage. Oh hell yeah! On that crit, mm, Ooh, so it'll be an extra points. seven plus the automatic eight, so it'll be fifteen. So twenty six on the blunt end. Hell Let's yeah. go. So he just makes his way past Laytash, Lightning Lance drawn, just does two quick stabs right at his chest. And as he gets up, finally right into his face, just kicks the butt end of that Lance right up to his chin, just clocks him, pushes him up against the door. And I'm uh, I'm right up in his chili. And nice, we have a door stop too. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the door is now stopped. <laughs> Uh, that is, uh, that's my turn. With him slammed up against there. Uh, even if you fucking take this thing, you're all gonna fucking die. <coughs> you don't have any fucking idea what you're... Uh, end of their turn. Interesting. Oh, it is this guy's actual turn as well. Even more fitting. Oh, hell yes. Oh, hell yes. You saw what's fucking down there. None of you can pilot this thing. We're all gonna fucking die. Is that what you want? We got a pilot. Don't you worry about that. Maybe if y'all want to lay down your arms now, y'all don't have to die on this ship either. Sounds like a whole lot of death, partner. Better make peace with your maker now. Echo is going to push his rifle into him. Some has already died once. Who cares about twice? <laughs> this dude is going to disengage <laughs> <laughs> and fucking roll back through. And he's fucking crazy for doing it. He's going to make another dexterity saving throw. Oh, no. Get Rolls smoked. through it. 
gets targeted. Got advantage on his. He is fucking retreating. You can hear him yelling back towards the commander. And they step out and shut the door back behind them. Hmm. Oh, or blinded. This guy's going to make a con save. Good to know I'm still rolling incredibly low. <laughs> good, good to know. Those bad guys are PCs. This guy's fucking blinded. No fucking chance. <clears throat> I will take, uh, since you've been outside here and you know the back, I'll go ahead and uh, open this up on either side. Give a little bit more visual that we're in the back of this fucking whirly bird. The audience. <laughs> do you do you have it on your board yet? You're fucking. No, I have it. Oh. I put it on the board. God damn it! I'm actually, double checking right now to see if I put it on there or not. <laughs> not it's not there yet. Another blinded individual. What did I get oh, myself is... into? <laughs> hey! Let's go. Nat 20. Going to shake it off. Ugh, fuck you. Archer's eye. They're going to add additional D10 to their shots. <laughs> Pack tactics. Drawing the short bows back. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> to the devil woods. Holy fucking shit. 31. They're going to strike uh, uh, the ones that they can see. I would, I would imagine I would have taken that guy's space as he left like, yeah. since I was. Yeah. Okay. This dude can says he can see Laytash. Laytash fucked that whole room up. He's definitely gonna hit the, the, the Tash. What a dick! How did he crit? Oh, I forgot they crit low on these, on these bow oh. shots. Oh boy! Oh boy! Oh boy! This is boy. the additional. 1d10 plus 10. Ugh. I need to look down and see what that other is from on. Uh... Other formula 2d6. That doesn't even need to be there. I'm going to put those two back then. Yeah, the only other one's the, uh, the optional. So it's a 19 plus 28. Jesus Christ. Uh, that was a hell of a hit. 47 points. Doing the big leagues now, boys. We're getting big hits. Oh, baby. They will take that second shot at advantage. Oh, that's gonna that's gonna hit. Was that at Latash still? Yes. Yeah, I'm public enemy number one right now. Yeah. Fifteen points of piercing. You don't take the archer's eye on the second shot though. Only for one. Done. Wow, he's uh succeeded in really fucking my shit up already. End of uh, that dude's turn. Garamesh, your turn. Okay, so many. Wait, how many? 
Like you had that archer's eye, you son of a bitch. So Clover's all the covered. ones marked are are very tired. <laughs> Those yeah. are all in advantage, dude. I know. Uh, I know. <laughs> 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 the pray and spray fucking on this John one. Wick. Yeah, pray and spray for sure. God, uh, you deserve a fucking ah! I wish I would not have used your fucking action search. <laughs> you could literally that's... probably clear this room out. I could. I could for sure. Uh, oh, fuck. Uh, let's see what I have here. Though. He did the right thing at the time. Yeah, but I want Van Helsing right now. Plus <laughs> Reaper. Too. Me too, but it doesn't happen that way. Okay, none of those are what I was thinking. All right, uh, start with the closest. All right, this guy, yeah. Uh, inventory. Uh, 22. Uh, you get to roll a, uh, second d20. That's right, advantage. My bad. And, uh, you can hold shift to do so, just like you did before. Yeah, I just forgot I had advantage for a brief second there, so and if you, and if you don't want it to advantage. roll all, all that shit at the same time, you can go and, uh, do what it just did for Oxy. Oh, I, I did the same thing okay, while cool. he did it, so. Got yeah. it. All right, so yeah, that'll hit. 22 points of damage. 22 uh, points of damage. Would there be a window behind him? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he's still going to hit the blowback, right? So that you might get a little extra force damage. Doesn't look like there's any windows back here. But you can, <laughs> you can further knock him prone. I will do a, um, uh, I'll do um, an extra D6 of force damage on him. Yeah, I think there's a thing here, though. Uh, if the target of the attack is already prone, you ignore the normal disadvantage post on the rules. Prone, oh, that doesn't, that doesn't matter to me. And they fail. <clears throat> All right, so D6, you said? Yep, extra D6. Oh, nice. Four. This dude is blinded, prone, in assassination <laughs> position. They're so fucked, I'm going to let you roll super advantage on this. <laughs> we just want to see a crit. We just, we just want to see just, it. You just put him out. <laughs> yeah. That's interesting that it automatically rolls the damage for that. That uh, random other, yeah. Uh, other's yeah. a weird field. So 14 points of damage for that hit. Come on. <laughs> he chonky. That'll hit. Hey, 19. <laughs> That's a DTD. Okay. Thank you. <clears throat> So I just pin him up against the wall, basically, with those shots. And then we'll go after this guy next with the bonus action. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Fuck him up. Get him quake style. There you go. Uh, oh, yeah. 18. DDD. Uh, and then is One there any room shot. for me to step? Us? Uh, that was that was four. Yeah. Uh, any room for me to step up to the side like this? No, because that's over the rail that goes down. That's that's what I thought. Okay. I guess you can get up on the... You're an agile motherfucker. Give me acrobatics. You want to get up on the rail? Uh, I would set that as a 14 or above. This could go terribly. <laughs> that's only 10 feet. Hey, He's got such on. a plus to it. It's like a fucking... <laughs> it's a gimme. It's a gimme. It's a gimme. I had to roll there. a little a four for that. That's me. All right. Appreciate you making some room.
finally getting a glimpse of the battlefield and uh the, this room of just fucked up blinded individuals <laughs> Well, isn't that a fucking sight? Yeah, they can't get rid of what they can't fucking see. And I'm going to throw my own grenade in there, and I'm going <laughs> to careful spell fireball so this grenade just goes out and it targets. And targets each individual that is inside there. Oh, my gosh. You just steal when strike the fireball. I fucking love that. <laughs> Let's fucking do it. Go, baby. Let's see what you get. Hopping tactical smoke. All right. <laughs> we got a whole bunch of disadvantage on this. Okay. Here we go. Starting at the top, disadvantage on the first one going clockwise. Pinging this guy right here. Mm hmm. Get him. Get him. Oh, yeah. That's a failure. That's a failure. This one's a straight up for this individual right here. Oh, they will save. Another failure for this gentleman. One tucked back behind the door all the way over here. Oof. They will save. Oh ah. my God. <laughs> Why all this hotness? Oh my God. How about that shit? <laughs> 34. Good fucking roll. Oh, weird. There is a dude that I see on my view that is not on your view. <laughs> yeah. This is where you're positioned. Well, no, it, there is a dude right here standing next to it that I can see. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I was like, you're forgetting somebody. It's the ghost getting... of one of those Valinor elves we massacred <laughs> earlier. Still walking the decks of this ship, Captain. We got uh, one down. Then it'll be 15, 17, 17 points of damage. It's a fucking ghost, bro. <laughs> so weird. <laughs> All right. And uh, yeah, after I fucking smash that, I take uh, a step back. Actually, no, I'm gonna go forward. I'm gonna go get in the fucking room. I'm big boy, I can handle it. So with this, things are a little spatially off. So I'll adjust your character into the fucking, into the box up here. Gotcha. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and, matter of fact, I'm going to move up right to this edge of the fucking doorway. <sighs> Seeing a tactical fucking grenade go off. A proper tactical grenade. They're going to step up. They're going to pull back their short bow and fire away at me. Tink. I'm right on that line. 24, I will reaction cast shield. What a nice. 20. A 24? I just see a 20. It's a 20 on mine. Oh, I saw the uh I saw the fucking save up above. Let's go! 
Yes, that is a tank. I will not cast shield just yet. Second shot. 26. Uh, I'm going to cast fucking shield since I'm up here. Tink. And then they're going to peel on the side of the doorway. Echo, top of the fucking round. Where's fucking Echo? It's all piled up over in here. He's, he's in here with me. He's gonna get the fuck up. He's gonna run forward. I'm gonna go ahead and peel these dead bodies. He throws it to the side. <laughs> Brutal. Uh, two close quarters now. He's gonna pull out his. Ooh, he's got that uh, crazy pistol thing, right? Or is that all deck saves? That might be deck saves. They're deck saves, so I don't want to okay. use. I yeah, don't want to no, fucking no. um. Nope. I don't want to use them. Ooh, actually, ooh, ooh, it's fucking good because they're both fucking blinded. Yeah, I'm gonna fan and spray the first. Cause I have to do it with disadvantage. Oh, okay. And I get and I can get both of them. Oh, let's see here. What is his? Save on it. I believe it's 17. Okay. Here we go. Deck saves coming up. Gonna do it one more time. Well, oh, next guy will fail. And here is the final. Just in case there was a one. Let's go. All right, pistol damage. All right, sends 11 points to both of them. Downs the one on the right. DTD. Just mows through him. He's going to put the pistol away, and he's going to pull out the lightsaber and go forward. Hell yeah. Oh, advantage on this because this dude is blind. Yep. Very fired. Very, yeah. Very fired and blind. And he will take his final swipe. Fucking wish he quit Kurt on fucking 19. Another 19 points of damage. Oh, the fucker's just barely alive! No. He will take a step back and into this room. Uh, he cannot take an attack of opportunity. The dude is F'd in the A. <laughs> Lay Tash. F and A. F and A, man. <laughs> Lay Tash just slowly presses by. Oxy. How many of you are left? How many do we need to kill before we take this ship? Let's You'll never take out. this fucking ship! The ship is the property of recoil and you don't even know it. It's recoil. I don't fucking know either. Fuck you! <laughs> as he lifts his guitar once again to his mouth and starts to whisper in and cast a spell let her eat my last steel wind strike at fifth <laughs> level brutal. Pocket you. brutal 
Here we go. For this last group of individuals, I have uh, advantage on oh, two of them. The first, which we will uh, we will start with. Yes, I want to cast it at that level. Over this guy, it's 26 to hit. I think I got some DTD. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is a, the brutal DTD. It's <laughs> just a massacre. <laughs> That's one. Uh, second will be, if we're going around the horn, it would be this guy right here. Oh, 21 to hit. 17 is AC. 35. Which one? Which one was it? Uh, it was this guy right here. That dude's dead. Oh, he wasn't marked dead on my screen. He still got an eyeball on him. He's dead. Then this guy? That's the one that I can see. Okay, so yeah, dude, we got we got ghost we got ghost elves on my that's screen one, as well. That's the one that I can see. Nope, go off what's on the what you can see. You guys got some fucking old, unrefreshed version of Foundry. So yeah, this guy I'm right gonna, here. I'm hitting yeah. the refresh button. That's hilarious. Should I? I don't know. I'm afraid. I'm, like, yeah, I'm, I'm, not be able I'm to afraid get too because it's going to cost everything to slow down on my side. Just roll I with it. It's fine. You got you have you have a version that you can see. So. Yeah. All I did was move the screen and everything kind of changed, so I don't know if that helps. <laughs> nope, it didn't. Oh. Good roll. Woo, 40 fucking three. Brutal. Shoosh. And I think, I mean, is that the last one that I can see? Because uh, I honestly am rolling on a different version of enemies that you see because I see one more. <laughs> you should, I think, yeah, I think you should be able to see the you two that are- You just see the tips of these two right here. They're, they're, they don't have anything fucked with them, so I, I'm not rolling at an advantage on them. Nope. But you still 23. hit them. Authority, and then El Finalmente, the last one. Just gets 18. there. Just getting it done. Good roll. Oh man, you're Whoa, fucking. Oh baby, let's go. Steel winds are fucking hot. <coughs> uh, take that, you sons of bitches. The ship is gonna be my man's here. As he steps back behind his dude. <laughs> As he pats recoil on the shoulder. I'm fucking hurt, but I think I hurt them more. Let's take this fucking ship. End of Laytash's turn. Ah, this dude strums forward. He's going to pop his two shots over at recoil. Fuck. 30, 30 hits on the first. Even with your shield? Yeah, 30 is my, uh, or 29 is my AC with a... Uh, Damn. Twenty one, twenty eight points of damage on me. And I think they're going to stay where they're at. This gentleman gonna move up. They're gonna take two shots at recoil. Same thing, Archer's eye as well. Oh, 
Fuck, that's right, they crit. That'll be a crit on recoil. 1d10 plus 10. On the added, so 26 plus 13. 39 on recoil. Poof. You know who we forgot about? It was Striker. He would have, uh, that it is a limited amount of time. Limited amount of time with ours. Plus, he's guarding the core. <laughs> he's in stasis mode. Just. <laughs> It's not much of a stasis move. Y'all ever seen a machine masturbate? Is he also low it's income? It's a piston. <laughs> He's low income, but he ain't low income. <laughs> uh, okay. That was... Was that the first shot? Uh, Second. Right? No, no, that's first No, one. that was the first one. Oh, fuck. Another crit. Fucking. What happened? Well, I critted you twice. Right at the end. Uh, 27. 37. 42 points. Uh, Archer's eye is only once though, right? That's right. Archer's eye is only uh so it's gonna be fifteen off of that. Uh let me go down to thirty-seven. Still sucks. <laughs> oh, that was on Echo. Oh fuck. Yeah. Oxy Cotton Dreams, it's your turn. Uh, running up into the room. You heard what he said. This is recoil ship now. Get him, Fist! You lay them arms down. Hey, nobody else has to die. You keep them up. This shit's over. <laughs> there are fucking guns drawn. There's yep. no, uh... No persuasion checks at the end of this. Okay. Uh, we will swing a swing on this dude. That'll hit. Damage. It's still probably standing after that. Damage again. Still standing. <laughs> Give me a second here, Pard. No, that's all good. I know. I gave you your two. Oh, motherfucker. No, we got it. Let's go. Let's Hell yes. go. Hell yes. DTD so, comes in. Lightning Lance just goes right through him and sticks, skewers into the wall, and you see this scorching lightning just crackle up onto the side of the wall. And as he pulls it out, takes his final two steps over towards this guy and gives him the blunt end of it. Uh, as we will swing one last time. Swing low, sweet fast if I can. And five more points on this dude. Booyah. This individual dead. Commander is outside. You do not know where they're at. Garamesh, send us out. Okay. Oh, my screen is doing some weird shit. All right. Um... Now that I can see. I can see um, clearly now. We'll go with this guy first to get rid of the 
Uh, he's in front of me. He's in first, so we'll go with that guy first. No, no, that's the one that's not there for anybody, but us. How is? Oh, okay, so it's this guy. <laughs> <laughs> that's the only one that's left. <laughs> Jesus. He's a he ghost. Go Crouching <laughs> tiger, <laughs> hidden trooper. Amazing. Okay, uh, go off of what's on stream. So the guy in the corner, okay. Yep. <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> that's so wild. Boop. 26. His name is Hin Spaghetto. <laughs> Hin Spaghetto. I love what? spaghetti. <laughs> spaghetti. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He's he's dead. dead. He's wow. dead. Wow. All right. 28. <laughs> DTD. <laughs> Drop the elbow. Uh, Yeah, I just put one through his eye. And that's all we see, right? No, you got one one last guy right here. Namas. Oh, okay. Uh, Come out, Charlie. <laughs> you'll have to uh, you'll have to move up to be able to see him, though. Okay. Two, three. Once you're in four. this room, you're golden. Okay. Oh, once I'm in the room. There yep. We go. Uh, so, uh, yeah, 13 points of damage. 13 piercing. And another one. Oof, terrible rolls now. Rough. 15. That might be enough, though. Nope. <sighs> negatory, negatory Last Ghost Rider. Ah! Yes! Yeah! 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 Let's fucking go! And then I have another brutal. Don't have to use <laughs> don't, it. Yeah, don't oh, even bother. You're gonna, don't you're gonna clean this clock. Let's fucking go, DTD. Yeah. Uh, so I come around the corner and just like the last few shots, just rapid fire into his chest. To clear the room, John Wick style. Yeah, yeah, you did. Hell yes. <laughs> they slide back down. <laughs> As that airship begins to buck and bend. You can see amethyst light pouring up through the floorboards from up above. You can see the entire cabin beginning to buckle outwards. Boards, bits and pieces blow off. You can see the outer ring of the airship is three times the size that it was when you guys boarded. It is a massive elemental halo of flame. <sighs> As bits and pieces of unstable arcana begin exploding. That is where we will pick up next week. <laughs> you said the purple was coming from above us, not below us, right? No, below you can see that fucking it is supercharging this entire ship. The magic that you have used have caused it to swell. Oh, shit. We've used uh, for amount of spells. We are up to 13. Oh, my. Ass. No, 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 no. I'm sorry. 15. So it's five spell slots per. That's why it's tripled the size. So five spell slots per. I did a fireball. And he did two six steel wind strikes. Oh man, six. Let's I'm, go. I'm so glad I've been swinging my lance and not catching <laughs> spells. <laughs> you would have you heard earlier, three, oh, three is the breaking point to where it starts eating in on itself. Well, then I'll have to message you what I did in the room then. So I'll, 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 yes, I'll, I, tell, I'll, I'll tell you I what I did. I can't wait. <laughs> it's swelling. It's swelling. It's swelling. <laughs> All right. Oh, boy. Love y'all. Pick up. It's going to be the, the end of days.
Last two episodes of Eberron for hiatus. You all want to catch it next week. Love y'all. We'll see you tomorrow for mommy mommy action. Love Bring you. It. I'm ready for mommy mommy.